Hey all, hope you're all well. And uh, I've got something to show you. And it is the Crown Derringer. Now, this little sucker was uh, something I'd spotted. I can't remember if I spotted it now. Impulse, I originally spotted it. And I thought, oh, I've got to have one of those because I've got quite a collection of derringers now. Um, and I just like little guns anyway, full stop. And it's a Springer, so ticks all the right boxes for me. It's not the most detailed or well-made piece of kit, but it is just a great little fun gun. Um, wasn't very expensive, can't remember the exact cost of it, but um, yeah, about 10 quid or so. Um, but yeah, it's uh, relatively lightweight, uh, not highly detailed, most of the uh, parts on it are non-functioning, non-moving. Uh, the only bits on it that do move are the hammer and the trigger. Now. To cock it, all you have to do is pull the hammer down and that cocks the piston. The piston is down here in the grip and it sends the air up into the barrel. And a fairly pathetic little pop. Uh, and obviously, second moving part, trigger. Um, <clears throat> now, you may ask, how do we load this little thing? And I'll show you. Uh, it has a magazine tube in the front end, just here. If you rotate 45 degrees, it's like a bayonet lug. Uh, it did stick out more, but I've trimmed it down to make it less conspicuous. Uh, and when I trim my nails, I can barely grab it. Um, and it isn't a magazine as such, it's a, a follower, and then you drop the BBs into the upper barrel uh, and it takes seven BBs in that top barrel uh, and of course to refix you just pop it in and turn 45 degrees and it clicks in place. Uh, there's no safety on it um, and all you do as shown, cut the hammer and off it fires. Um, <clears throat> firing wise, you may notice that the hammer springs back up again, it doesn't stay down. Um, I suppose it could have made it so it does stay up, although that actually I think the hammer also actuates the, the movement of the barrel if I'm not, yeah that's it, yeah, if it stayed back the barrel would stay in place because basically the barrel moves forward to allow a round in and then goes back and chambers around. Um, so yeah, um, so basically because the hammer comes back up you can't actually use the sights, not that they're much good anyway, um, and it only fires, it hops one, uh, 0.12s, I'd say about 7 metres flat, and it drops at about 10 metres. So it sort of goes flat for about seven and then declines uh, for another three. Um, so it's it's not the most punchy or uh, best performing gun, which you wouldn't really expect out of something so so we. Um, obviously, I've got my little Colt 25 and my Walter CPH, which do easily outperform it. And in fact, I think. Uh, the Colt 25 is, is definitely smaller than this, uh, but that said, it's just like a great, great little fun bit of kit. Um, you can get it in black as well. This particular one was the silver version, but I did kind of um, put a bit of uh, black dry brushing over it just to give it that sort of antique feel, and uh, I've rubbed some brown into the grips just to. Make it look a bit, look a bit old and, and uh, a bit, um, what's the word, sort of, I suppose, sort of cowboy sort of era type derringer. 
So yeah, there you go, the uh, Crown Derringer. Um, I will remark, uh, the, just down the, between the barrels it has got the um, Crown written on it and it actually has a ASGK mark uh, and then Made in Korea written after because, well, it's Made in Korea. So that's the only actual markings that are on it. And uh, yeah, I think that, that about sums it up really. As always, thanks for watching, I'll see you all soon.